Ultrasound Physics and Instrumentation Knobology Modes of ultrasound include the A mode for amplitude, no longer much used, B modes for brightness for 2D dimensional pictures. M mode stands for motion, for cross sections and motion from at a distance from the probe, mostly used for cardiac ultrasonography. Doppler ultrasound modes include color flow Doppler, where flow towards you in the vessel is red and flow away is blue. Spectral Doppler can be used to determine velocities and flow within a vessel. Power Doppler or Power Flow Doppler can show you the perfusion of organs such as this kidney. The concept of Alara is important. We use as little ultrasound exposure as is necessary to get a good image. Alara stands for as low as reasonably achievable. We use just enough ultrasound to get the images that we need. The piezoelectric principle applies to how ultrasound is generated and received. Electricity makes a quartz crystal vibrate, which generates ultrasonic waves. Reflected waves are absorbed by the crystal and generate electricity, which are processed by the ultrasound machine and made into an image that we can see on the screen. The fate of ultrasound in the tissue determines what we see on the screen. Ultrasound is attenuated progressively as it goes through the tissue. It can be reflected back to the transducer, scattered in multiple directions, refracted in new directions, or absorbed by the tissue and converted to heat. How well an object reflects ultrasound is its echogenicity. Hyperechoic objects are more echogenic and appear bright. Anechoic objects appear dark because they do not reflect echoes. Frequency determines the resolution and the penetration of the ultrasound. High frequency probes provide high resolution. Low frequency probes provide deeper penetration. The frequency used by the ultrasound machine is set by the imaging mode. In this sonocyte machine in general mode, a medium frequency provides a compromise between resolution and penetration. In resolution mode, a higher frequency is used which provides better resolution at superficial depths but worse penetration. Switching to a low frequency or penetrating mode, deeper structures are seen better, however the image is overall more blurry. The ultrasound machine is equipped with various types of probes. Convex probes and microconvex probes send out sound in a curved pattern yielding a sector shape on the ultrasound machine screen. Phased array probes are flat, but steer their sound electronically, also producing a sector shape on the screen. Linear probes send out sound in a straight wave and produce a square shape at high resolution and high frequency. Spatial resolution refers to the ability of the ultrasound machine to separate two closely spaced objects. Temporal resolution refers to the ability of the ultrasound machine to show things in real time with real motion, and this requires high frame rates. This allows motion to be seen without jerkiness or missing frames. Each transducer has an index mark which indicates one side of the transducer. This indicates the proper way to hold the probe such that that index corresponds with the green dot. Normally the green dot is towards the head or the patient's right side in body imaging. Correct probe orientation is necessary to yield the required images. Holding the probe transversely across the body reveals a transverse image. This will have a left and a right side. Holding the probe along the long axis of the body in the anterior position yields a sagittal image, which will have one side towards the head and the other towards the foot. System controls. The depth control adjusts the depth of field on the screen. This image is set too deep, the kidney is too high, and there's much posterior detail which is not required.
by making the image less steep, we move the kidney down in the image and achieve more magnification of the area of interest. This is accomplished by using the depth control. Time gain compensation determines the brightness of the image at different depths. This image is very bright in the near field, but the far field is quite dark. In this example, the far field is bright, but the near field is quite dark. These can be adjusted by using the near and far controls. This image is overall too dark, and for this, the gain button is used to turn up the entire field. However, this image is a little too bright. You want to have some contrast between tissues, and so this overly bright image can be controlled by turning the total gain down. Correct transducer orientation is required at each window. A longitudinal image requires the probe index to be towards the patient head. A transverse image requires the index to be towards the patient's right side. And a coronal image requires that the transducer probe index be towards the patient's head as well. Artifacts encountered during ultrasound include high attenuation. This is a gallstone which has high attenuation with posterior shadowing. Low attenuation occurs when something transmits sound very well and creates posterior acoustic enhancement. This is a urinary bladder and the posterior structures are very bright. By adjusting the TGC, we reduce the posterior acoustic enhancement and can see those posterior structures much better. Gas scatter occurs whenever ultrasound encounters air, such as within bowel or the lung. This does not transmit sound very well for the machine, and very little is seen when gas is encountered. Refraction occurs as an edge artifact when sound crosses a boundary with tissues with different propagation speeds. In the case of the cyst, notice the two dark bars from each edge of the cyst. These are refraction artifacts. Reverberation artifact appears as bright lines, usually in the superficial part of the image. This is usually caused by interaction between the transducer and the skin. These bright lines are usually at equidistant lengths and can be seen in this case within the gallbladder. The bright lines seen within the gallbladder are an artifact caused by reverberation. Mirror image artifact is sometimes encountered when the ultrasound is striking the diaphragm. The multiple pass fool the ultrasound machine in thinking that there is liver tissue in multiple locations on both sides of the diaphragm. This is an example of the mirror image artifact. Your guides to getting a good ultrasound image. Know your anatomy. Visualize the anatomy in at least two planes. Define the boundaries. Choose the proper transducer. Learn the correct acoustic windows and maximize the system controls for the best image. You can review these videos as required before the course. Thanks for your attention.